My respected audience, this is our second lesson on design and analysis of auxiliary medicine in R and in this lesson we will learn about the CRD in R. First I am going to give an introduction to CRD that is the completely randomized design. The important point behind CRD is the experimental material to which the treatments are needed to apply should be homogeneous. Let us suppose we have three treatments A, B and C and each treatment will be replicated five times. We must have 15 plots to apply these three treatments having five replications each. Here are 15 plots before you people and I have labeled all these plots. So let us suppose we made a randomization procedure by lottery method for treatment A then the plots assigned to treatment A are 1st, 4th, 5th, 7th and 14th. So treatment A will be applied on those plots as treatment A has been applied to 1st, to 4th, to 5th, 7th and 14th plot. Similarly we can assign the plots to treatment B and C as well. But we will make this, this complete layout in our studio. Here is the model uh, that will be used for making analysis of CRD or CBD and latent scale etc. Uh, y is equal to A plus B ta. Y is our response and ta is our factor. Factor means the categorical variable that is the qualitative variable. The variable in which the labels are placed. The names of treatments are placed. Here in example uh, yield is the response and the variety is our factor and we will write the names of varieties. Now go towards our studio first we will make the layout of CRD and then we will perform the analysis. Here in our studio first we are making a new file a script and saving this file by name of design1 sign design1 on desktop the file has been saved on desktop first I write Library. Library means the library that is needed to make the layout of the designs of experiment. In it is the Agricola. Agri if you have not installed this library, this package, then do install from Tools and Install Packages. I am going to run this code library into our Agricola. The code has been executed, and now uh, our first step is to write the categorical variable that is independent variable and we will write the name variety v a r i t y variety let us suppose c and here i'm going to assign the names of varieties let us suppose n n means new variety comma inverted commas o means old variety comma and at last that is a control c and this code will be executed second I will give the number of application to each treatment r is equal to 5 and run this code code has been executed now I am going to write the code for making layout of CRD and name it as d1 that is was design 1 you can assign another name d i s i and design scores for designs have been appeared before us design that CRD will be applied here First, I will write the name of our independent variable, our treatment that is a variety, comma, then the number of applications we applied, and then a code that will assign Siri, that will assign the numbers, the labels to the plots. Siri is equal to zero, will assign one, two, three, four single digit numbers to the plots. And I am going to run this code and getting the result by selecting two lines this is our layout of CRD the treatments have been applied to the experimental units randomly variety n new variety has been applied to plot 1 and 2 old variety to plot 3 etc and this is a complete layout of CRD uh, in which randomization procedure have been applied now we are going to extract we are going to export this layout from our studio to excel file and write writing the code write dot csv and here first uh, d1 is our design command uh, from this command dollar sign i'm going to extract our layout 
that is book comma now the file name that will be assigned to excel file is equal to inverted comma let us suppose i'm going to assign the name crd dot csv is necessary to write the file excel file has been saved in our documents crd file has been saved this is our uh, layout file our crd file in which the layout has been saved here at last column i will write the name of response that will be generated here i'm writing the hypothetical values but in real the response will be submitted the response will be substituted against each variety let's suppose i am writing the hypothetical values I have written the hypothetical values um, for the sake of uh, comparison for the sake of analysis and I'm going to import this file in our studio uh, import data set from text read R this is the CSV version of Excel file from documents and from documents I'm going to import this file click on import And now first I'm going to write the code attach because uh, after before importing the data set first we have write the code attach in order to make the columns of our data set readable for our studio uh, attach into CRD executing the code here point is to be noted our column variety has 15 observations n n o etc but i am writing here the column name variety but here are only three it means the variable variety has already been written in our course here variety is equal to c n o and c so in order to make this column readable first we have to remove this variable variety that have only three words that have only three entries rm variety so uh, the previous variable variety will be removed and new variable variety will be appeared before us so uh, go towards making the analysis m1 let us suppose model aov aov means analysis of variance here first we write, will write our dependent variable that is the response and i have named the response variable as yield so yield is written first and then dependency sign tilde and at second we we'll write our independent variable that is a categorical variable variety so in order to extract the p value of ANOVA we will write the code summary summary of m1 uh, executing these two codes and uh, we will get this p value 0 0.994 it means the p value is non significant so h naught for treatments h naught for varieties has been accepted because we have written the hypothetical data it p value uh, is generated the non significant it may be significant when the real data will be real data will be substituted the multiple comparison test the post hoc need not to apply but i am going to apply for the sake of practice for the sake of knowledge uh, first I'm going to write the code ls is equal to lsd dot test ls is only the name you can write any other name on model model is m1 comma and here we'll write the name of our independent variable here we can write only the name of our grouping variable that is the categorical variable variety and it will be written in inverted commas ls executing this code and this is this is the result of 
LST means the same letters are showing that all the three varieties are performing same, have same results, have same response, have same yield. Now, uh, for the sake of making graphs, uh, I would write first code bar dot error and ls dollar sign dollar sign means to extract some specific result means uh, the code will be executed first this is the uh, error bar graph only the need is to extend enhance the y-axis limit uh, here i'm going to um, enhance the y limit y lim is equal to c from 0 comma uh, our maximum value is 30.6 and I'm going to enhance it to let us suppose 45 so uh, it needs more enhancement still so this is our error bar graph and now the grouping graph bar dot error bar dot group on which the names the labels ABC will be written on the top of bars unless dollar sign groups comma while m is equal to C 0 comma 55 and executing this code this is our another graph on which the letters ABC are written on the top of the bars uh, showing the difference and our similarity among the groups. So this is our second lecture has been ended and in the third lecture we will learn about the RCBD uh, randomized complete block design. So keep on watching our videos and stay with us. Thank you very much.